How's everybody doing? God bless. I hope everybody's doing well. I believe the tri Great Tribulation starts with Babylon being destroyed on the first day of the first month, and that is the 21st at the equinox. God's timing, God's, God's word is true. The sun, moon, and the stars are for times and season. That's in Genesis. Most people know that. I'm not going to go over that. But the sun and the moon and stars are made for times and seasons. That's in Genesis in the Bible. This is the one video I'm going to use. This is the resurrection of resurrection of Lazarus. I believe we will be resurrected at the same time Lazarus did. It was just whatever happened before will happen again, as the Bible says. What happened before will happen again. I'm also going to use Nick Vanderlaan's video about the spring equinox and the starting of the Enoch calendar, which I believe that is the correct calendar. Now I will go over this first. This, this goes with this. I have showed this before. This is Psalms 19. It says their lines go through the end of the earth and their words to the end of the world in them that have set a tabernacle with the sun. The lines go through and it says, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber rejoices as a strong man runneth a race. So this is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. I've said this before. This is also what says in Joel that he's going to come out of his chamber. As I show right here, this is what these lines mean right here. At the equinox right here, these lines go through from one end to the other. It's a perfect, it's perfect perfect match. They run through it. This is the spring equinox. It means equal of daylight in, in darkness. That's what the meaning is. Right here. Right. Maybe I took it down, but that's what it means. Right here. It's right here. The Latin word means equal night, giving the impression of night and day in an equal or exactly 12 hours. Perfect 12 hours. Equal day and night. This is what Jesus said, I believe. This is what Jesus said right here, he said this when he raised Lazarus from the dead. He said, is there not twelve hours in a day? If any man walketh in the day, he stumbleth not, because he has seeth the light of, his wor of the world. This is twelve hours. We also know that this was when he raised Lazarus from the dead. Because it says this is this is in the they just got done raising uh, Jesus just got done raising Lazarus from the dead. This is in John 11, and it says, and many went out to the countryside to Jerusalem before pass the Passover to purify themselves. The reason why they purified themselves is because they just. Jesus just got, a lot of these people got done touch, touching a dead body. They had to be purified. It takes seven days to be purified. It takes seven days to be purified of, of touching a dead body. They were unclean. So they had, they had to, they had to, it was just before Passover, 
and they went out of the countryside up into Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. This was this was this is when they when Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. A lot of these people got were touching Lazarus before just when he was dead, before Jesus raised him from the dead. They were unclean. So we know it was just before Passover. And by this verse right here. This was this uh, this is twelve hours in a day. This is what it's talking about in John. Exactly what Jesus was talking about. This was the the uh, equinox. Right here, equal parts of a day at the equinox. So let's get to Nick's video. Right here. He's done this for many years. It's the equinox reading on this day, on March 19th, 2021. As I will now show you in Stellarium, the sun's movement as it rises. Okay, so here I am in Stellarium, and you can see it is March 19th, 2021, and the sun is rising. And here is due 90 degrees east right here, and the first portion of the sun as it's rising is intersected by 90 degrees. But as I fast forward this, and the sun is fully risen, and on the horizon, you'll notice that the sun is not intersecting exactly 90 degrees east. And on this day, you will not get the equinox reading. And here's a screenshot of March 20th, 2021. And rather, you'll see that the sun is intersected by 90 degrees east when it is fully risen and on the horizon and on this day you will get the reading of the spring equinox. And here's an additional slide I have of the spring equinox of 2018, 19, 20, and 21. And if you notice that the sun was intersected by 90 degrees azimuth due east when it was fully risen and on the horizon on each of the days of the spring equinox reading. So he's done this for many years. The 21st, that's what I'm looking at. And as he says, it's 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 a line going through. That's exactly what it shows here. The line going through, it's equal. This is exactly what it says in Psalms right here. Psalms, Psalms 19. And then it says down here, a tabernacle which is as a bridegroom cometh forth out of his chamber. This is what it means, equal of days and nights. This is exactly what Jesus was talking about in when he raised Lazarus from the dead. Why would he say that? I believe it's a clue. That's what I actually, the way it's paraphrased, it's a question. Right here. Right here, are there not 12 hours in a day? And he's talking about day and night. Right here. Now this is this is one reason. This is this is uh the Bible verse that I'm going by is Psalms 19. There's one. Equinox, the first day of the first month. The last day would be the day that night before. I believe the daylights it's I believe the first day is from the Bible. It starts in the morning as the sun comes up. We have changed it where it starts at midnight, which I don't believe. I believe it's supposed to be by God. When the sun comes up, it's supposed to be the first day, at the first the, the start of the day. We've corrupted everything. But now we'll get to this, Lazarus. This was a good video. Which preserves 
the ancient biblical name of Lazarus, and this is where the tomb of Lazarus is located. Is there archaeological evidence that the traditional tomb of Lazarus is authentic? It's a good video. I'm not. I'm going to skip through parts of it. Yes, it is. Here's the road to Jericho. He talks about it right here. Comes up from Jericho to Jerusalem and being located less than two miles from Jerusalem. John 11, 18 says, Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. There you go. There you go. So... So right here, after Lazarus was raised from the dead, they were going to Passover. They were going to, to um, from Bethany, from, from where Lazarus died, very close to Bethany, they were going to purify themselves. It wasn't a very long distance. And then they had seven days they had to purify themselves. So... This was this is this is right at the equinox, just as Jesus said. Is there not twelve hours in a day? Bethania wrote Eusebius is a village at the second milestone from Alia, that is Jerusalem, on the flank of the Mount of Olives, where Christ raised Lazarus. Seen here is the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Less than two miles to the east is ancient Bethany. This is where Soller excavated. A little further east is the tomb of Lazarus. Okay, so this is the uh, ancient route that's coming up here from Jericho on the eastern side of the Mount of Olives to Jerusalem on the western side of the Mount of Olives. Uh, you can't go this route uh, today because there's the modern wall and you see this burnt. It's a very good video. I'm not going to play this whole video. I'm just getting to the point. Historical event recorded in the Bible uh, that fits the description and location of the site. And you have the extra biblical uh, mentions that also help us understand that all of this together represents strong evidence that this is the tomb where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. I was taking a shot of the entrance from street level of the tomb, and I was thinking to myself, wow, this is, this is a boring shot. There's nothing happening here. And uh, then I heard something, and I looked through my camera lens, and I saw these palm branches coming up the street. And behind them was this crowd, and I realized this is a funeral. And so my shot all of a sudden became very inspired because literally a dead body passed between my camera and the tomb of Lazarus. And it just hit me that everything's pretty much the same. The problem is the same. Uh, the need that people have is the same. The need that we have is a solution to death. The biblical solution to death is not that we don't die. The Bible says that the grave is the destiny of everyone. Rather, the solution to death in the Bible is resurrection. And more specifically, it is Jesus, because the one who was raised from the dead is also the one who raises the dead. Amen. And so the reason that people kept visiting this tomb over the course of 2,000 years is because it represented to them hope. They were connecting what had happened to Lazarus in the past to what was going to happen to them in the future. Amen. A good example of this is when Jesus is approaching the tomb of Lazarus, uh, Martha, Lazarus' sister, comes out to meet him and to comfort her. Uh, he says to her, your brother will rise again. And she answers Jesus by saying, I know, I know that he will rise at the resurrection at the last day. And Jesus says to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Very interesting that Martha 
would say this. The tomb of Lazarus, uh, Martha, Lazarus' sister, comes out to meet him and to comfort her. Uh, he says to her, your brother will rise again. And she answers Jesus by saying, I know, I know that he will rise at the resurrection at the last day. Very interesting that Martha would say that to Jesus. I know that he will rise again at the resurrection at the last day. Which, the last day is many places in the Bible. It says, but should rise up again at the last day. Jesus was talking about the resurrection and he says, And this is the Father's will which has sent me that I, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, and I will raise up on the last day. It's very interesting that Martha would say that to Jesus. So I believe what happened before will happen again. I believe we will be resurrected on the last day. I believe that is at the equinox, the last day of the year. It's going into the first day of the year, the last day. I believe that is at the equinox. It would be at before morning. I believe that we it will be at night. It will be at midnight before morning. That would actually be the last day before morning. So, as I said, this, this was when Lazarus was raised from the dead, uh, right before Passover, and this was at the equinox, I believe. Right here, 12 hours in a day, this is at the equinox, 12 hours of light. Jesus said this, uh, he will raise us up on the last day. This would be the first day, the last day leading into the first day. It would be at night. I believe that be when morning, when the sun rises, that's why it's the midnight call. I believe we will leave at night before morning. This, this is when Lazarus was raised from the dead. This is also in Psalms. This is talking about with a tabernacle with the sun. This is talking about the equinox, as I showed. Some people are looking at the 17th. Some people are looking at the 18th right in there. But it's not the true beginning of the year. It's not of equal parts. The first day of the first month starts at the equinox when they're equal that's what it means equal days and equal nights right here some people are saying that it, Nick Vanerlein checked this in Jerusalem with the sundial that is in Jerusalem there is a sundial in Jerusalem that shows when the equinox is and that's where he takes he takes his uh, reading from is in Israel. I've seen it. He has videos on it. 12 hours of equal of day and night. This is a Latin word. It means equal, Latin, equal of, of days and nights. As I said, I will repost my video. I'm going to put a d disclaimer on the beginning of it, just like I did in my last video. And I'm going to try to upload it again. And I have other videos on this subject. So this is my Bible verses on this subject. I have said some of them. But I didn't talk about Lazarus in my other one. But God bless. This is what I'm looking at. We'll see what happens. As I said, we're supposed to, we're called to watch. Watch and pray always that we are counted worthy. Luke 21, 36. And we're supposed to be watching. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at here. Right in here. Equal of, of day and light. 
God bless. I'll have another video out tomorrow. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Tribulation starts the 21st of March. God bless.